Wir sind da dem Bock. Ja, Mai, Mai, Platz. Today's episode, how are you doing to us on Bobo? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So, I'm in quite a hurry and I've done this all up all wrong, I realise now. I'm on my way to reading. My friend Stefan has created, written and composed a musical. And we're going to go there. Me, I'm going to meet Magnus at Gamlastan and then we're going to meet my son outside of the theatre. Then we're going to go there and see it. It's called Norturs League and it's, and it's all about feminism and things. I had a fantastic time yesterday when Magnus sort of surprised me. Well, I know we were doing something, but in honour of my birthday last week, he sort of whisked me off and did unspeakable things to me. Well, not really, but it was fantastic. I, the, the most memorable thing, I think, well, the cheesecake at his place was fantastic. But also at that museum, uh, uh, the the Adventure Museum, I guess. You had to pay, put on those goggles and walk a plank. That was weird and wonderful, and I was full of adrenaline afterwards. Anyway, I just wanted to check in. Oh, and also, I filmed about one hour yesterday, so that was four movies that I had to make or edit. And a quarter of an hour takes, a movie takes about an hour to make, because I make them kind of sloppily. So I spent four hours editing today. Am I fried? Yes, I am. I'm meeting Magnus at Slussen, at least I think I am at the right, pla right place. I thought I was at the right place yesterday and I was totally wrong. But I think he meant this. Hopefully. Well, we're not in a hurry. Oh, I see him. Oh, I lost him. He's somewhere there in the muddle of people just walking by. There he is. Can you see him? Oh God, just tell that kid to fuck off. Where is he? Can you see him? There he is. <laughs> oh dear, it's painful. Hey, darling. I'm scared of you. But your dog. But your dog. Anybody who is anybody seems to be in here. This is madness. No, my God. Där har vi Kitty och Jenny och Stina. Nej men vad är helvete? David och Kristoffer.
Jättetack för att ni var här. Goodbye, Magnus. And hello. Okay, people, so I'm on my way home. I've seen the show. It's, I really liked the effort into it, and I like the actors and the singing and the song, the music, I guess. I'm not really a sort of connoisseur of music. What I didn't like was the way the story was told. This is all about uh, the women's movement in Sweden and the... Uh, the boat but it doesn't cons it's it's not like i thought it would be sort of and then finally they got the boat because it's not about that it's about a, a certain period in that time and a lot of uh, women who work as uh, as in offices um trying to get better paid so it's it's a, it's only a little a little part of it, and I thought it would be sort of a more a, a scope of it, and it's told like, and I haven't read the book, but it's told like um, from our perspective now, uh, like of course women should have equal pay, or, and of course they should have the vote, and and it's I think it would be more interesting if they they, they themselves didn't know. That they could get it and that sort of that that they realized or that they sort of thought about it because now it's sort of like every woman there except one is sort of we need to get better paid uh, and, and they're really they're really vocal about it and i don't think they were in those times i think they sort of some of them must have been sort of no we just need to marry well we i need to marry that's what i need to do and i think they need to tell it out of another perspective somehow i don't know i was thinking when i saw the show that they should be sort of modern people now working in offices and uh, sort of compare themselves or finding the, the the book or reading the book something like that because they had to sort of now it's sort of like they're already at the beginning of the play or the musical it's sort of like we the very feminist and it's supposed to, i don't know they have nowhere to go from that what i meant is I, I was more interested in what shaped them to be like they are when the show starts what happened before because that seems to be the interesting part when they wake up and sort of when they get their their sort of had they already have their thoughts and they're already formed when the show starts so nothing really happens and one weird thing is there is a man he's a boss and uh, and he starts off a little sort of and then sort of he changes so in a play a musical about women the only one who changes is the man a man and i don't think it's supposed to be like that Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.